Ooh, somebody doing homework? Oh, good for you. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, here I have is uh, 3 times the 4th root of 32 minus 2 times the 4th root of 162. And the reason why I decided to do these problems is because the 4th root, everybody's pretty familiar with square roots because we, we're pretty familiar with square numbers. Square numbers, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, right? I mean, you guys remember those square numbers. But cube numbers, which we just did, 8, 27, um, 8, 27, 64, 125, they're not as familiar. And numbers to the fourth power are even less familiar. But remember, if we're going to be simplifying this, I want to simplify, to use my identity element, I need to have exponents raised to the fourth power. So I can simplify them, right? So let's just think about what are our uh, quartic numbers, which I used to write up over there, but I erased them because I needed you guys to start remembering them. So let's just start. 2 to the fourth power. 2 to the fourth power is 16. 3 to the fourth power is 81. 4 to the fourth power? No, bigger than that. I don't know, I don't know. But 4 to the fourth power, anybody know? 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So 4 times 64, 256, that's it. OK, so anyways, are either of these numbers square no or quartic numbers? No. Numbers to the fourth power, no. But can I divide any of these numbers into these two numbers to do that? Yes, yes of course. And again, I'll break it down for those of you that are still having trouble. I can break this down as a 16 times 2 minus 2 to the fourth root. I can break this one to 81 times 2. And what's important about that, the reason why it's nice, because ladies and gentlemen, could I also do 32 times 8 times 4? Yeah. Yes. But what the difference is, the reason why I want to use 16 times 2 is because 16 is a number that you can raise to the fourth power. 8, you cannot raise a number to the fourth power to give you 8, correct? So I don't just pick, I'm not just picking random numbers that multiply to give you 32. I'm picking numbers that you can raise to the fourth power. So therefore, that's the fourth root of um, 2 to the fourth power times 2 minus 2 to the fourth power times, oops, I'm sorry. Uh, fourth power, that's 3, right? Oh, wait. I did. I, 3 to the fourth power times 2. So the fourth root of 2 to the fourth power is 2 times the fourth root of 2. Minus um, fourth root of 3 to the fourth power is 3. Therefore, this becomes 6. Fourth root of 2 times 6. Fourth root of 2. Subtracting, right? My index and my radicand are exactly the same. 6 minus 6 is 0. So it's 0. Fourth root of square root of 2. 0 times anything is 0. 